All right, welcome back. As some of you know, I had recently been hospitalized for cellulitis of my lower leg. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection of the skin and soft tissues, which is quite serious and can be even life-threatening if left untreated. I got it by skinning my knee about the size of a dime, crawling around on the floor, playing and taking care of our new kitten. So apparently some bacteria got in the wound and it went from being red around the site of the skin knee to my entire leg being red and swollen in a single day. That's how fast and aggressive it moved. And I was told by my primary and urgent care, because I also went into urgent care, that if it got any worse, that I would have to go to the hospital. And it was getting worse despite the oral antibiotics that they had given me. But I'm told that it's very difficult to treat at home. Hospitalization is typically required, especially when it gets to a certain point. And even then, it's difficult to treat because it's often staph bacteria and antibiotic-resistant bacteria. I was hospitalized for five days with round-the-clock antibiotics being administered through an IV. I should say nine IVs total because they kept blowing out my veins. And then I was released and given some oral antibiotics to finish up. And truth be told, I may be going back into the hospital, perhaps even tonight before this is released, because it wasn't enough to finish it off. It was really close to being knocked out, only the immediate area around the skin knee left, but it's starting to come back. And my lower leg is getting redder and swelling up a bit. So they either released me a day or so early, or just didn't give me enough antibiotics when they released me. I was told they were going to give me five days. They ended up giving me only three. Regardless, it looks like I may have to go back in, which is the last thing I want to do. Five days is long enough, and I'd rather not go back to the place where all the sick people are. I feel very fortunate having come out of the hospital without coming down with anything myself, considering there were patients with COVID on my floor just rooms away from me. Nurses coming in and out of the room at all times. Of course, I was doing some protection magic, but it's also a testament to the RZ mask that I was wearing, which I only took off to eat and when they'd let me use the shower, but I would even sleep in the thing. And anyone who has taken my recommendation on the RZ mask knows that it's not the most comfortable mask to wear because it's two layers. But if you're going into the hospital, particularly through the emergency room, a cloth mask just isn't going to cut it. You need something heavy duty. I'll certainly be bringing it with me again should I go back in. Now, if I return to the hospital, I'm going to be going to a different one this time. And it's not because the hospital that I was at was bad or anything. It's because they told me to follow up with an infectious disease specialist and gave me his name and number to call for the referral. And then that doctor just flat out refused to see me. So I had to find another specialist who would. And the specialist I found is in a different medical network and works out of a different hospital. I have an appointment with him come Friday, today's Monday. But I was told that if it gets worse in the meantime to come to their hospital, because that would be the doctor who would come around and see me. So either way, I would get to see that specialist. But the bad part is that we're expecting a snowstorm between tomorrow night through Thursday, up to possibly a foot of snow. And so if I'm going to call it to go back in, I should probably do so either tonight, or I may not get another chance to really go until Friday. And if I wait to just see the specialist on Friday, there may be a chance where he'll just admit me anyway. So it's all kind of up in the air at the moment. I'll make the call tonight. If I have to go to the ER, I go in the middle of the night if I can help it. They're usually less busy. Not always, just usually. But even so, they usually have less staff in the middle of the night, so you could still be waiting a while. This past time I went, there was only two people in the emergency room, one of whom was on his way out waiting for a ride. And I still had to wait over an hour and a half. And possibly could have waited even longer had I not been throwing down some magic. I did a lot of magic in my last hospital stay, particularly when it came to cutting down my wait times and getting a room, and then using God forms throughout my stay. 
mainly the god Hermes, holding a golden caduceus staff, tended to help get me attention when I needed it. Nurses and doctors seemed to be drawn to the caduceus staff. And then the rest was mostly gratitude magic, such as envisioning myself having a room and being really extremely grateful for it. Because when they first saw me, they just stuck me in the hallway in the ER. They were pretty much at capacity. They were just lining the hallways with people on gurneys. And after a couple hours in the hallway, I was able to get an ER room for a few hours to myself, which was better than the hallway, but still not ideal. I wanted something away from the ER. So I did some more gratitude magic and was able to land an outpatient room. They had come in saying that they needed the ER room and were moving me to a different room, which was an upgrade. It still wasn't the best room. All the good rooms in the hospital were still taken, but I did get something away from the ER. And although it wasn't a large room, it was still better than what I had in the hallway. And on top of everything, there was some protection magic going on as well. So that, along with gratitude magic and God forms, were primarily the magic that I did while staying in the hospital. God Forms is the program that is going to teach you the long-standing esoteric practice of the assumption of God Forms, something that the magical lodges and orders have been using to great effect forever. If you want unlimited confidence in whatever you're doing, God Forms is the program for you. God Forms is a three-part MP3 audio program with a total running time of 90 minutes. I'm going to be explaining what God Forms are, how to assume them, and how they're related to your will. How assuming God Forms is the magic of choice when you're on the go and away from home. How to charm others with God Forms. How to take elemental control of an entire room. How to assume into the highest version of yourself and have communication with your holy guardian angel. All this and so much more is included in the God Forms program. You can get God Forms and other Mind and Magic programs over at mindandmagic.com today. All the magic that I did while I was in the hospital worked great. Unfortunately, I guess I just didn't get enough medicine and heal all the way, which I wouldn't have been able to tell because it was receding it was going away and almost all the way back to normal. So I don't think anyone would have been able to really tell that. I think they should have given me a little bit more antibiotics instead of just three days, but it is what it is. If I have to take off a few extra days to knock this thing completely out, then that's what I'll have to do. There really isn't a choice about it. It's either that or lose your leg. So that's what's been going on. That's why things have been a bit delayed. I just have to make it up and catch up at some point. So I hope everyone understands. You know, it's not like me to get behind, not without doing some serious catch up later on. For those of you interested, the kitten is doing fine. Although he is back to wearing the cone. As you recall, he had to have surgery to have his eye removed after his cornea ruptured. That had completely healed up and his cone was removed, but he was still having drainage, which he should not have been, meaning they didn't get all of the tissue that needed to be removed, which would cause chronic problems. So they had to reopen him completely for a second surgery to remove anything that they missed the first time because it was infected when they removed it, which is difficult to see what's going on when you have that much infection and then reseal him back up and have to wear the cone for another several weeks, of which he is scheduled to have his sutures and cone removed this coming Friday. I think me and the kitten have just been um, experiencing a particularly rough Mercury retrograde because that's what a retrograde would do is make you go back and redo something. And Mercury does have some correspondences to health. I know the first thing that we think of when it comes to Mercury retrograde is communications and travel, but Mercury does have links to health. I was just talking about Hermes, which is a Greek god, but Mercury would be the Roman counterpart, and the caduceus staff is the caduceus is a symbol of health. 
and Mercury is retrograding in Capricorn right now. There's a few planets in Capricorn at the moment, but Capricorn is my sun sign, and the sun is associated with health. Capricorn also rules over the knees and the joints, and my cellulitis started with a skinned knee. But Mercury retrograde has set the end fairly soon, so I'm fairly certain that this ordeal will as well. Typically, Mercury retrograde problems don't hang around long after Mercury goes direct. I want to apologize if this video is released late. If it is, and you know that I went back into the hospital and didn't have time to edit it and release it on time. But rest assured, I will get caught up and back on track once everything is cleared up. Okay, so that will do it for today. I want to thank you for joining me. Follow me on social media. That's where I post important things in situations like this. The links will appear on screen in a moment and are in the description. And I will see you next time. Take care.